After spending 15 years in London working and utilizing her talents in the animation field, Mrs. Abrahams returned to Trinidad and Tobago with the intention to expose the Caribbean to the power of animation. A diploma in animation program was created in 2008 and a BFA in digital media arts in 2018 at the University of Trinidad and Tobago. She says since its inception, it's been oversubscribed. However, the Anime Carib Festival team continues their work while ensuring Tobago is fully involved. We were able to actually create an animating and gaming outsourcing studio at the university where our students could go straight into work, but also where we can support small and micro enterprise. She explained this year's festival included an online school day and workshops. Eight Tobagonians were able to receive hands-on training in animation at the Eadcott compound. Mrs. Abrahams also articulated further plans for Tobago's animators. A few days ago, and the chairman of um, Eadcott, um, Mr. Achille, said basically, could you imagine if a Nancy or stories from Tobago that can be animated, can you imagine how we will empower young people and we will be able to tell our stories? And to the budding and future animators and illustrators. If someone has an uh, animated piece that they want to screen and for the world to see, we can do that on the IM network. We also had something called um, Project Reroute, where we sent out a call for stories um, so that people in Trinidad and the Caribbean, if they have ideas for animated stories, they could apply. And if you're selected, you actually will be funded to find out more about the, the Anime Carib um, Anime Carib Festival because there are a lot of links there. There's also the um, Trinidad and Tobago Animation Network. Go on to Facebook and find it. Join them. There are a whole bunch of people who give advice. Um, Titan, it's called. And then there's also the Gaming Association of Trinidad and Tobago. Carissa Douglas, 40 News.